for elementary school. You are the most powerful people in the, the, the curriculum for science. Because up to elementary school, kids believe their teacher. <laughs> they believe you. When they hit middle school, we lie to them all the time. So if you do not cover that point then, that heavy object, light object, falls the same. When they get to us, they think it's tricks. Uh, puberty kicks in. I mean, it's just their chemical reactions. They aren't even living organisms. <laughs> but we laugh, but it is really true. They will see things in elementary school, and then they'll see something in middle school. And if you say something in elementary school, and the middle school teacher says something differently, and in middle school, the demands are different, the peer pressure is different, there's a lot of things that, well, I did all my homework, yeah, but doing it, getting it right, two different things. So they're not getting A's because they do their homework. There's a lot of disconnect with that in mind. Plus, they're starting to feel their boundaries. Those of you with middle school kids, they're testing everything they can find. If you get them in elementary school, they believe you, and you are just building a foundation that is unbelievably powerful. We can't overemphasize teaching middle school, working with high school teachers. They believe you because they're, they always go back to elementary school. They always tell us what they learned then. And we are trying to show them that, yes, we agree with what your teacher said. So if you use the, the language that helps high school, it just makes it really a lot easier. And we're giving you a lot of high school language because they do think we lie to them. That's just how it is.